Now that we have our FlashForge 5 software open, we're going to go ahead and load the model. Select on Model File, we're going to hit the plus icon, and then we're going to select the file that you're working with. You can hit Repair Model, that's fine. Once it loads it to the build plate, the blue is what's touching the build plate, so you know that's what's going to adhere to the build plate. It's going to print from there. In this case, we have our cup that we made. So now we're going to go to your right side here, and we're going to look for Supports. Deselect the touch platform only and select auto supports. At this point, it's going to generate a little bit of supports here for us in the handle when it's printing that, so it's going to come out really nice. Next, we'll hit the back. Next, we'll go to start slicing. Next, we'll go to infill and we're going to leave this at 100% infill. Go to printer so that you can change the extruder temperature. We're going to make this 110 degrees because we're using standard PLA. All right, now we'll hit slice, and we do want to add a brim. This is gonna help adhere the object to the build plate, plus it'll make it look real nice, and it'll assist when we take off the supports that we're adding for the object on the build plate. Next, hit add brim, and it's going to slice the object here, as you can see. And we do wanna know how long this is gonna take, so hit slice preview, and as you look up here in the right corner, it's gonna take exactly one hour and 30 minutes. Here's how much estimated material it's going to take, which is pretty cool. You can also see the layers. If you want to preview that, you can take this icon slider right here, and you can see how that's going to print, which is really awesome. Next, you can hit Close Preview. Select your printer icon so we can go ahead and print. 